A man who pleaded guilty to raping two little girls cannot take it back. Douglas Polk Jr. told a judge today he did not understand what he was doing when he pled guilty to the crimes, but the judge didn't buy it. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright has the new details tonight. Lori? Well, Jennifer, this report about Douglas Polk is one of the most heartbreaking things I've seen in my 18 years as a crime reporter. In it, Polk describes how he forced a young girl he's related to to have sex with him and how he used a picture of a puppy on his cell phone to kidnap a five-year-old who was playing in her front yard and then assaulted her. Douglas Polk cried on the witness stand as he told the judge he was overwhelmed when he pled guilty and was only saying that day what he thought people wanted to hear. But the judge called it a performance and said what really overwhelmed Polk was being sentenced to six consecutive life terms plus 40 years in prison. Even his attorney believes that Polk knew what he was doing the day he pled guilty. I pretty much agree with the judge. I think that he was overwhelmed by the sentence. The pre-sentence report says Polk claimed his father was an abusive drunk and that he was molested by his father's girlfriend while his mother was in prison. In the report, Polk admitted he had sex with an 11-year-old girl who was a relative in 2006. Then she and other children were taken away by the state for three years, and once returned, he had sex with her more times. When she reported it to her mother and police this past April, she had even circled the abuse dates on her calendar. He also described in detail how he saw a five-year-old playing in her yard in 2007, how he lured her to the car with a story of a lost puppy, then pulled her through the open window before parking the car and assaulting her. He tossed her and her clothes out after she began screaming and flailing. She had to have surgery to repair vaginal tears. Her mother describes the nightmares, flashbacks, and medications the girl now takes for post-traumatic stress disorder. This case has affected her entire family and all of those who work the case. You know, this has been a difficult time for all of them, and uh, hopefully uh, it's good to come to a close at this point in time. He's going to prison. Now, the report says Pope tried to minimize his crimes, like when he said the young relative that he had raped tried to find times they could be alone, or that the Broken Arrow girl willingly got into his car. The jail counselor testified today that Polk tried faking mental troubles while he was in the jail, but actually showed no signs at all of psychosis. His attorney, though, still plans to appeal. Lori Fulbright, the News on 6 tonight.